let's get going. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna preheat the oven. I set up my oven to 425 degrees. Again, because I wanna cook it as minimally as possible, I wanna get that food out of there, and I wanna get it up to temperature quickly so I can get it out of the oven so it doesn't dry out too much. The longer you keep your food in the oven, the more likely it is to dry out. So I'm gonna always weigh in ounces. I got that set up. I took into account the weight of the bowl. So this chicken is 10.8 ounces. So that's too much. So I need to trim some off. So I'm gonna trim some off because I wanna get it to eight ounces. So I trim some off. I got 8.1 ounces, so that's good enough for me. So as you can see, I cut off some, it's 8.1, that's close enough. I mean, sure, you can, I can cut a little bit more off uh, to make sure it's closer, but it's good enough for me. So we got 8.1 ounces here, good, we're set. So I'm gonna grab some tin foil, some aluminum wrap, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna partition off a little piece of it, I pull off a little piece of it. Let's go this way. I get a little piece of tin foil. Now I'm gonna put it on the pan. And I'll show you what this looks like as well. Then I'm gonna take my chicken. I'm gonna plop it right down on the aluminum foil. And I have my first partition of chicken. So as you can see, I have my chicken there, boom, have the little tin foil on it, and then we're gonna just stack these next to each other so it's gonna be boom, 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 all the way across the pan, and I'll know exactly then what eight ounces of chicken is. And the reason we put it in the aluminum foil is simply because if we end up having to cut up uh, lots of little pieces, so like when we get these, when we get these like little pieces of chicken like this, we get these little pieces and they add up to eight ounces, then it's gonna be a pain in the ass and we're gonna have pieces all over if we, if we don't partition it correctly. So that's why I use the aluminum foil. Uh, for these big chunks, it doesn't make as much sense because it's like, okay, yeah, that's a big chunk of eight ounces of chicken. But as we get these little pieces that add up to eight ounces, it's gonna be more important to uh, make sure that we have something to partition the chicken and um, allocate our eight ounces. And then what we're gonna do after we cook it and we pull it off um, the out of the oven, is we're literally gonna take each partition of chicken and put it directly into a meal container, and that's how we're gonna know each separate container has exactly eight ounces of chicken in it, very easy. So um, that way, again, it's eight ounces exactly, we know exactly what's in it, and we don't have to mark the container, we don't have to mark the, the thing. If you try to do a bunch of different ones, then it's gonna be confusing, you're not gonna know how much chicken's there, you're gonna get messed up, and then you're gonna end up eating more or less than you probably should. So I'm gonna end up finishing up all this chicken, I'm gonna cut it up, I'm gonna partition it out on the, on the pan, then I'll fast forward the video so then you don't have to sit here and watch me cut up all this chicken. We'll fast forward so then you can see what it looks like at the end when I put my seasonings on and I put my garlic in before I pop it into the oven. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now, I'll be back very soon.